Welcome to Taking the Credit, episode 93. <laughs> it hasn't been going that long. Oh, God, okay. Just a couple of seconds. Ooh, wow, it's even telling me that I'm peeking already. Fresh out the gate, and I'm already peeking. This is Eli, coming at you straight out of the studio. What does peeking mean? Uh, it means that the audio level gets so high that it distorts and there's no saving it oh it's like i guess most of the time when we record it is often really low and i have to turn it up quite a bit but i must have when i adjusted it last week i must have been mumbly which makes sense i was probably mumble tuna my balls are showing are they no it's just ace ventura Jesse with a one. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Just Us and Sometimes Other People. If you haven't heard their podcast, go over Cube. and subscribe to Juice Up, Jesse and Bailey. Hala, hala, hala. Juice Up. And me. But they didn't. Where's the post? Where's the post? Where's the post, guys? Where's the goddamn post? It's been two weeks. Two fucking weeks. Where's the weeks. post? <laughs> Sorry for swearing, so How I don't care. dare you? How dare uh, you? Bailey commented on our last video to straighten up some of our confusion about their family life. Oh, yeah, Jesse sent us messages the other day. Did you miss that? Maybe. That his dad is Filipino. Oh, yeah. Filipino. <laughs> Filipino. <laughs> and not hot. Filipino. His dad is not hot, apparently. We've met his dad. His dad was there at my mom's memorial. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh. Was he hot? <laughs> no. No. I mean, I'd say he's a good looking man. Shout out to Jim Novencito. But I wouldn't categorize him as hot. Maybe that's. Maybe my threshold for a man to be hot is like way more unrealistic than, say, a lady's version of what is hot for a man. What? So, like, y you at one protein, point sure? thought that I was hot. At one point, years ago. You're still you had hot. to have. Okay, well, thank you. Kind of. But, like, yeah, see, no, I kidding. wouldn't see me and be like, oh, he's hot. It would have to be like Ryan Reynolds or something. Burt Reynolds? Yeah. That's a better example, actually. Burt. Uh, Bailey's parents are still together. Yeah. Yes, those were her parents that you saw on Snap. Yep. Jesse's dad is Filipino and Native American. And yes, Jesse does have a stepdad as well. So. If you guys were and trying to debunk our last episode. What a shame. She didn't say that. Is he rich? I think I asked that too and he said no. That's no, that, it was a Facebook no. message. His we're dad friends. is not hot subjectively. Maybe maybe Jesse thinks he's hot, but he wouldn't say that because that'd be weird. But like you're not gonna say your dad's not hot, right? I don't know. But he's not rich. So that already eliminates him from just everything. Sorry, Jesse's dad. Jesus. What? <laughs> I mean, we're all from Michigan, so nobody's nobody's loaded. That's for sure. But anyway, well... great guy. Has a lot of great kids and probably great grandchildren, but I don't know them. So anyway, shout out to just us and sometimes other people. I was talking to Garrett earlier today, playing some video games, and... Uh, he was giving me updates on the sign and uh, doing the sign for for Juice Up. I think they're going to do like a table thing, like a tabletop sign. She's not paying attention. Tabletop. You're probably messaging them. She's probably messaging Jesse and Bailey right now. Okay, so now I have to read this just to know what's going on. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have to read it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ugh, this is such bullshit. <laughs> what are you going to say? You're going to say, yeah, he is hot? She's lying to your faces. 
Oh my god. My threshold <laughs> for hotness. For hotness is higher for men. But your father is not not hot. <laughs> I can say this. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to leave it at she's lying to your faces. No, you have to send it now because no, I just see, sent see, we're a supposed to be podcasting and we're just... Yeah, but I just sent messages. It doesn't make sense if you don't send your message now. Yeah, well, that's on you. You chose to undercut me. Whatever, just fine. No, you have to live with it. Well, here we are. Well, episode 93. <laughs> right? 93? Yeah. Episode 100, we're going, it's going to be like porn. We're just going to have sex Ew. in front of the camera. What? <laughs> just no. kidding. Oh my God. For episode 100, 100 will be our last. Crazy. Our last? No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. No, it's not. Uh, just 100 episodes. We could rebrand. We could rename our you tried. podcast. You tried. It didn't work. Two kids in a chair. Hmm. Two butts, I, two chairs. I kind of, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, I didn't quite like that. Or at least two doing butts, two the chairs. work of two. One butt, two chairs. How about that? One butt, two chairs. We share our butt. Four I can't cheeks. remember. It oh, was, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's the light. Yeah. That's been on. You have to leave it now. I do have to leave it now. Dang it. That's why. Okay. I don't like well, it. It throws everything off. I'm used to it I being I just dark noticed it. But well, I mean, it, that's not going to affect the darkness, but the color temperature, whatever. Anyway, this episode might look different because we have different lighting going on whatever. on accident because I forgot to turn it off. Well, I'll turn it off then. No, I, it's too late. Oh my God. It's too late to apologize because I just did. I'm blue, I'm a did they I'm say what they're going to do in Denver? They're just going to go hang out and go to a couple breweries. That true brewery, brewery uh, yes. or whatever true with the V brewery. is down there. And Kyle's talking about doing that. And they'll probably get food or something. I was trying to think of all the bars that I used to go to when I lived down there. And I couldn't think of any. There was... One that I would go to every now and then that's, I went there once for a New Year's Eve party thing, but it was like insane expensive at the time for me. It was like 50 bucks for like unlimited drinks or something. And I was mm. like, I don't have $50 for unlimited drinks. But um, uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. I think I told him the name last night maybe. And then like Tarantulas is like a pool bar. Oh yeah. But it's like kind of low like low-key kind of it's not a dive bar by any means but it feels kind of like it or they could go to illegal pete's and they've got beer and stuff there and burritos if they wanted it there was another place and I they're staying at a hotel they should go to one up i think there's oh, yeah. a one up down yeah, there. there is colfax. that's on like colfax yep i should tell them to go to one up i took mux mole to a show there to his show i drove him to his show <laughs> shout out to mux mole you know, I could probably do another episode with him sometime. I would just need to do the coordinating and then it would happen. But then I would have to do some coordinating. And that's the hard Daunting. part. The driving, the packing and driving. It's the, the parts I don't like. Bringing equipment. But it wouldn't make sense to... See, my hair doesn't look like it's falling out, right? It no, looks pretty, it doesn't. pretty full. That's what I tell you all the time. I know, but like when you physically see your hair on the hairbrush or like the worst part is honestly in the shower when it's wet and I'm yeah. like washing the shampoo out and then I like put my hand underneath the bottom of it and there's like strands of hair and I just kind of grab them and slowly pull and it's just like chunks of hair. And then <clears throat> when I'm drying it with the towel and then I put some of the stuff in there so it'll hopefully soak up some of the moisture and then i run my hands through it and then there is just like covered in hair and i'm like oh well this is fun but when it's like dry like this like it feels all right it's yeah it looks <sighs> like a head anyways of hair. packing stuff up to podcasts is definitely kind of a thing yeah well it's a deterrent for me 
Poutine. It makes me not want to do it. Poutine. 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 Why are our brains so scattered? You're changing the subject like every two you seconds. You changed the subject. You changed it. I was talking about Mux Mool and One Up and Colfax. Yeah. And then you started talking about your Want to tell that other story about the time that you were on Colfax and I came to pick you up? That was pretty kind early of. on in our relationship. It's a good story, I think. But it was a pretty decent story, and I'm pretty sure we've told it before. I don't know if we've told it before. When you were hanging out, and there was things involved, yeah, <clears throat> and Derek was freaking out, and what happened? You got locked oh, out of your car. No, you couldn't. Like, you just couldn't drive. No I don't one could drive. Think that I could tell the story without telling the story. You don't have you know? to. It just was. You were on substances that are oh illegal. Oh my god. <laughs> That wasn't me. That's Whatever. alleged. Sure. <laughs> alleged substances Damn. that might be illegal. But realize. anyways. I got, these are like boner pants. Do you have a boner? No. Just go change pants really quick. No, it's okay. Just go change pants. It's okay. I like these pants. Yeah, but I got these it's for you last winter and, just... and they're too tight now. Is that no, what's happening? It's just when I, some, when I sit down, it creates the, the crotch boner. boner. Yeah. It's fine. Eli's got a boner, everyone. <laughs> But anyways, yes, and I I was in Denver for a concert, actually. It was a very good concert. But then you were like, help. And I came on, I came and picked you up off Colfax. And Derek in his car, sitting in the driver's yeah. seat. Yeah. Hey, bud. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, that would be right. such an awful place. If I was, like, feeling uncomfortable with something like that i would want to be like at home like i would never want to do something like that out and about yeah yeah that drive back was really sketchy too i remember it was super rainy and like driving into boulder over the hill there like it was like pouring rain i couldn't see anything but i was calm because like i was in the car with you guys you were safe i felt good about that but like the drive was awful it was tough thank you for saving me yep and now and maybe one day i'll tell the story so our listeners can know i don't know what it would take to just have that sort of freedom to just tell a story of something that's like somewhat damning well it didn't happen i made it up i know i'm just saying like if it was it real would be nice what would you to be able to tell a real story i mean people talk about like... stuff like that all the time everywhere no one cares like there's always underage drinking and stuff on the tiktoks and the social medias like no one on the tiktoks but yeah they're always talking about crack like, and cocaine and meth and shooting up and stuff all of and those like people have nothing to lose like the high school kids yeah you just get an MIP or something. No biggie. If you're I'm, doing crack and meth, you probably don't have like... We were talking about the 4th of July when I went out to dinner with Courtney and her family. And then I remembered that I got an MIP on the 4th of July once. And uh -huh. I said some. I brought it up, something about that. And her dad and aunt looked very disapproving. Whatever. And I was like... They were raised during Prohibition. Not really, but... But, yeah, sorry, I was just yeah. talking about that. But, yeah, MIPs and VIPs and poopies. My dad was really, uh, really upset when, I, when he caught me smoking weed in high school. Wow. But he smokes weed. Well, so... Your children shouldn't be smoking weed. But, like, to be so mad about it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess my mom caught me smoking. She didn't catch me smoking, but she knew I was high. But that time, that specific night, was, like, pure pressure because I was supposed to go to a football game, and the people that I was hanging out with were like, no, we're not going to the football game. We're going to go get stoned and play laser tag. And <laughs> Sounds way better. I know, but I got in trouble because <laughs> I had a hard time like telling my mom that I was like doing these things. Like, I think she just wanted me to be in a public setting with normal people. And I was hanging out with like loser people and like doing bad things. But I could just say like, hey, I'm going to go play laser tag because I didn't have to smoke weed, but I got peer pressured into it sort of thing. But anyways, she didn't really like yell at me. She just was like, that's very irresponsible. And I, that was the time I was like falling asleep on the couch because oh, yeah. I was high. And I was like, <laughs> Yep. But yeah, she did try to take my phone away once when I was in like the midst of like the rebellious mm. and um, 
she uh, took my phone away. I took the battery out, and she's like, do you think I'm stupid? Give me the damn battery. <laughs> nice try, though. I was Bobby. like, yeah. I used to hide it in my pillow, too, which seems like an obvious place to check, so she couldn't find it, but, like, she always found it. Wow. Never forget the time I was talking to some guy that, like, she didn't want me to talk to, and we were at volleyball practice. She found my phone, and he was messaging oh, me, and she's, me, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Keep going. No, no, that's not. That's pretty much the extent of the story. And she, I just remember looking up at the bleachers like, oh, my God, thinking like, oh, shit, I'm screwed. She knew. She knew. She knows everything. Um, she always knew everything, kind of. She knew you had to wait. Well, she knows everything now because that was like my bachelorette party thing where Courtney and I. Oh, yeah. And my mom went up in a steamboat and we just like spilled it all. We said everything. And now I feel so clean from all of that. Remember, I remember there was just like, put, like taking some money here and there for drugs when it was like a problem and feeling the guilt of that for so long and to be like, hey, I did this and then just pay her back and like everything like it just such a nice feeling to not have that hanging over you, you know, what a bachelor up party. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was it was fun up until that point. And then I just I was like, you know what? It took me a while to like look my, at my mom like in the face after that and just be like, "You're my mom." Like it was very strange mm. for a while. <laughs> Did she make it strange? Everyone made it strange. Uh, Everyone made it strange. Thunder down, thunder. Because yeah. I had an emotional breakdown. Like I'm the worst. Blah blah blah. And I think she, I think she got a little upset that like I was like so upset. Like, she was upset. I was upset. And then, like, the next day, I was like, you were really upset. I'm sorry. She's like, I wasn't upset. I was like, I swear to God, you were very upset. And she was like, I wasn't upset. That made it kind of weird, too. But <laughs> that was a very strange trip. But it feels good to not, to just get it all out there. And, like, you know, as an adult, I make way better decisions now. And, Amen. you know. But, yeah. Anyways, this was kind of a long, drawn-out story, side story from, like, when you were talking about your dad yelling at you for finding you smoking weed. Yeah. And same situation, he didn't find me smoking, I guess. It was just that he knew. The I paraphernalia. Was, uh, yeah. The, ah, itchy, more itchy, so itchy. just the, the story didn't line up that I came up with. And it was also the 4th of July. Mm. And wow. Walmart was closed, so I couldn't get eye drops. So I had oh, to walk no. into the house with Freddy Krueger eyes. Oh, my God. You're stoned, aren't you, child? Smoke my weed and our poop sings our friend. Won't you pick up my poop and pick me up too? I'm stoned and my shits in the field. Where am I? My shits in the field. Pick up poop. <laughs> no, stop. Um, pick up poop. All right. Avril. I, no, you took it in the wrong direction. What? You weren't doing it correctly. You weren't doing it. I was <laughs> doing it great the whole time in the beginning, and you were correctly. not doing it well. Hi, John. She was, like, licking the shit out of my legs from where that little dog was sitting on oh, my lap. Oh, Billy Will. Oh, I can't believe. So next week, it's going to be a long week, but then the following week, I have Monday off for the 4th of July, and I took Wednesday off. It's going to be a short week, but that's puppy week. So it's very exciting because it's just like one full week to get through and then the next one's going to go by so fast. Yeah, I think I'm going to work. Gilbert. No, that's Arizona. I think I'm going to work either for Saturday or Sunday this upcoming weekend. Okay. And then I'll take Wednesday off and nice. then I'll work another, or I'll, then I'll work Sunday the 11th and then I'll pick another day. Okay, everything's going to change for a little while. I'll probably be up early with puppy instead of trying to sleep in and like helping manage that because it's just going to be a lot and you're a busy boy in the mornings. But at least you don't have to worry about walking, you know, and like that's something you can still wake up and take Jude for walks in the morning on the weekends and I will um, take puppy at some point. 
I like the idea of taking puppy me for walks. But we could both do it. I'll just wake up yeah. early. I'm, I mean, I know I, already I'm going to be waking up early. It's going to be a little bit of a shift for a while. So that's fine. Yeah. If I'm up at six on a weekend, whatever. I'm just thinking about, I guess my only concern is just puppy in the morning. Yeah. When I wake fine. up yeah. to work out. No, I will probably be up too. I at can't. At 4.30. If that's what it takes to get out and take the puppy out and everything and then... Uh, yeah. Then you take puppy in and John stays out with me. No. And honestly, puppy can go outside in the morning. Like Puppy's you. He's going to crawl under the fence and run away and get run over. No, we'll get, we'll get some chicken wire. And we're, if you want, like, I mean, there's even, they even left the chicken wire stuff that they had put up like back by the garage, like over here in the corner. They left the stuff that was put up there before, but chicken wire is cheap. We can go get some. And kind of like make a little door sort of thing there, bless you, and you. just have it set up in that corner there. So that way, you know, it might be inconvenience for Kyle, but I don't care. Well, that's a consideration. Yeah, Puppy falling fine. into egress windows. Oh my God, my heart. Puppy okay, drowning. Okay, we'll just put some chicken wire over that. Puppy's not going to drown. Oh my in God, the puppies, aren't, pool. puppies aren't stupid. Are they? No, they're not stupid. Well, it could be. Oh my God, you! But see, this is this is kind of fun. And my mom was like, "This is the first time Eli's had like a puppy, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, like it's not that scary." I think the biggest concern is like training them to be good dogs. So honestly, Don't like run away. it's gonna be fun. You're like gonna all your our new puppy dad. Dogs run away. Yeah, well, we wouldn't let the dog run away because we're not shitty dog owners. Well, it can sneak. It's not gonna sneak. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Honestly, like I have had more Jude mix-ups with you than when I had her. Like just like things that have come up that are like uncomfortable or like, oh, damn. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Jude mix-ups? Like where she does something bad, like in public oh. or something, or she gets out. I mean, she never has gotten out, but like oh. there are just more incidents have come up here oh. than like with me by myself with the dog so you'll be interesting fine. very interesting <laughs> no i'm just hmm. it's fine no it's great interesting that you would throw me under the there was that like time that. when i was walking i think about this sometimes when i can't sleep at night but um in broomfield like little trails back there when i had a really good interaction with someone jude was off leash running down the hill having a great time like so much fun having a blast there's another person a little dog they were playing around and then I was in like a really good mood. Yay, we're going to keep walking on the trail off leash. And then we get up to that. There's like one specific dude that had a chocolate lab that Jude didn't like. I mean, Jude always wanted to play with that dog. And that, that guy was like a dick. Like anytime yeah, that we saw him about this, and so. she jumped, like she didn't jump on the dog. She <laughs> ran up to it, initiated the play, like let's play. The dog just sat there. Dog didn't really want to do it, which is fine. But like you didn't have to kick my dog. That dude was just like really like get your dog away, whatever. And I was like, okay, whatever. I was just very upset. But we we left. Like you didn't not listen. Like we did walk away and it was fine. But that guy was like, that guy was a dick. Like I understand dogs off leash and on leash. I was also young, had a had a dog, whatever. Probably could have trained her a little bit better. But his reaction to her wanting to play with that dog was so uncalled for. Yeah, I'm surprised like, you didn't raise Elle. Um, I'm not I was upset. I went home and I think I cried. I was very upset. I was like, oh my realistic. God, like this guy was just like a dick. But they also, he must have said something about dogs off leash. I mean, his dog was off leash, which wasn't fair. But they put stuff on all the doors um, saying something like, uh, just make sure all dogs are leashed or something like that. If you're going to use the area down there, whatever. And it's kind of like, all right. That, uh, clearly, that guy had it out for me, like, hey, Can you write a note for our people to not kick dogs? Yeah. But that guy, I mean, like, he didn't like, he just didn't like Jude. I had seen him around there every now and then, and, like, he was just a dick. Asshole guy with his perfect little chocolate lab, which was honestly, like, a little pussy dog, so. Fantasize about <laughs> doing a flying Jackie Chan sideways kick to that person. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like the fact that, that like, I mean, there have been interactions with people and dogs where I'm just like bothered and it comes down to Jude's behavior. People don't know her, so they don't know that she just wants to play. 
But then like that, those interactions in my mind are like burned into my brain is like me doing something wrong and like really wrong. And like, they're just so mad and upset at my dog that mm -hmm. like, I feel like I didn't do enough or something. You know what I mean? Like it's my fault and I feel really bad and I don't know mm -hmm. how to explain it, but it just makes me feel stressed out. And like, I just, my brain goes back to those moments every now and then. Well, we are long departed from yeah. those oh, yeah. times. And no, and I'm I'm really looking forward to a year from now or whatever, wherever we end up, hopefully with a little bit of land enough for the dogs to just like run. Like Jude will play in the yard, but she doesn't even really play. Just like somewhere I can throw a ball lengthwise and she will run and chase it and bring it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all. That's not I don't need to, to if we do that, we wouldn't even have to take her for walks. Like I probably still would, but you know what I mean? Like just like let them play. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about when we go to the park. Yeah. Like if I'm throwing a stick and she's chasing after it and we're doing that for like that's 30 minutes, happiest. then I'm like, we probably don't have to walk super far still. No. But, I just, mean, we usually run our yeah. normal route, but things are going to change too with another <clears throat> dog. That's going to be a whole other, like, Play just, Avenue. yeah, she's going to be tired, <laughs> tired. Yeah. I think she's going to be really gentle. Like it was cute with cash when he was a puppy. She was so good with cash. Like Scarlett tried to eat cash a couple times, but Jude is just so good with like little dogs, especially ones she's introduced to yeah. like that. Like, it's going to be good. She's going to be going crazy with a new little baby. So are we going to have, I mean, what's our plan for setting up the food situation? Like putting another. There's plenty of room over there. Bowl. Yeah, and... we've got bowls and it's a puppy. So it'll just sit on the ground next to Jude's bowls. We'll have to get some puppy food and stuff, but I figured we could wait until like next week or whatever. Go grab a couple of those types of supplies. Yeah. Like a little couple more stuffed animals maybe would be fun probably but that would have to be like something to chew on day outside of, of maybe <laughs> yeah hopefully it's not a cord chewer i think that a lot we're gonna have to be a little careful we could even get some little doggy fences <laughs> to try and keep it in one specific area might not be the worst idea that'd be good yeah or at least just to block, block off, off this, this room. room yeah but this is where the food is so well, we know. can move it. We can just put his bowl right over there. Yeah. Herbal. Sorry. Herbal. Oh, Herbal. that's a beautiful name. Herbal. Herbal. That's good. Ah, uh, Herbal. Herbie. Fully loaded. Fully loaded. Blinzy Blowblan. One of my favorites. No, it's not. No, it's not. But, yeah, I've done a lot of thinking about the puppy name, and I'm not settled. That's fine. I wouldn't expect you to. I think it's just the idea of like having an idea, you know, but like yeah. if you don't have an idea, that's okay. I mean, I was okay with Jinx for a while. And then for whatever reason, I was like, you know, maybe not. It's it dumb. wore off pretty quick. Yeah. It wore off. So now it's got to be something like Rodolfo or Giorgio. Arturo. Arturo. For a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Clark. Lisa Turtle. Clark. Clark. Courtney. Quartney. Courtney. Oh my god, Bachelor around on Monday. I'm so excited. Yeah, we've been watching. I've been falling asleep. Close to the end though. Yeah. I usually throw in the towel around eight thirty, eight forty. Which is pretty close to the end. Yeah. Sure. All I can think about is poutine. Well, poutine me. You want to keep this one briefers? No, we can keep going. I told my mom okay. at like 325 to head down in 20 minutes. Ah. So 325, 335, 45. So she'll leave in like 10 minutes or whatever. So oh, okay. I figured that would give us like an hour. Oh, yeah. Like we've got minutes. plenty of time then. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's... We got to keep talking. That's a good day. What's going on in our life? Well, we the garden, garden party. party. Yeah, we did that today. Was that I a mean, garden party? A, in yeah. a sense. Yeah. It rained and still is raining. I love it. Is it still raining? It is. I can see it out there. Thank God. It's but, so great. Yeah. I, it doesn't rain 
that often. I it's mean, it cold. rains, but it I doesn't. I put on jeans. Yeah. It was like a hundred degrees last week, and I've got a long sleeve on. And long I have sweep. My purple rain. Purple rain. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't rain too often out here. I'm Eli. I know all about Colorado. I've been here for twenty years. Yeah. But it is raining today, and it just so happened that we are going to be going to a garden party. Garden party. <laughs> yes. And yeah. we got there on time, yeah. which turned out to not be on time. Yeah. And I opened my text with her. And then her. it showed up? No. At oh, least, well, I don't know. Maybe she texted me after I looked. But I double-checked this morning for sure. It says, like... Val Are you still on? Yeah. To ensure the time. Because she had put together like a visual flyer for it that she texted to me. That said noon. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's the one. But I think it worked out better that way. I liked it because ultimately like we weren't bad people for leaving when we did. Because we thought it was happening at 12. If we had later plans yeah. in the day, we wouldn't have made it at all. You know what yeah. I mean? So we, we were there. It and was nice. Yeah, we... We're there for two hours and 45 minutes yeah. or something. So it was good. And they did a great job of entertaining. Oh, yeah. Lots of talking, lots of music. Very Richard was cool. theatrical people. Richard was fun. I was scared at first, but he was super cool. He's cool as hell. Yeah. He was my favorite. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't see. I didn't get anything about. Oh, wait. That's... Yeah, no, I didn't get anything about changing the time. But yeah. it was fun. Noon. Summer party. So not garden party. Uh, she party. called it a garden party, though. That's nice. Yeah. It was fun. But it was fun. We just hung out. Their backyard was dope. Yeah. I would have... They had a lot of... It felt like kind of like clutter, but also lots of plants. I'm not talking yeah. crap at all. No, Me personally would not fair. like that much, but I liked the setup. It was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was... Their backyard yeah, was nice. perfect. I want viney things growing on our fence and bushes around large it. Large bushes. Just like, yeah. Yeah, large Lots of grass, big yard. Plants. Did she say, did they, they rent that or they own that? I think they own that. I think he the was saying that the people behind, rent that's a rental whatever, property. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I would live there. Maybe not. I would fix up the inside, but that was, I don't know. Yeah. We could live in Longmont, just find like a big yard. Or we could move to Kentucky and have horses on a farm for the same cost of a house here in Colorado. That's true. But what's the downside? Far away from everything. But we don't really need anyone else. You know, we don't need anyone. Mm. Shots. I didn't mean that in like a bad way. We here in Colorado, it's just us. Yeah. No, I know. If we moved somewhere else, it would just be us. But it's family, you know. I know. Well, my mom will go wherever we go. Kyle will manage. But you know what I mean? Like the family to me that matters is my mom. And Kyle still matters too. Jordan matters. <laughs> Stop. All but like the, if I'm moving somewhere, I want my mom to be wherever that is. What about mine? Your dad? You want your dad to move? You want to move to Michigan so we can be close to your dad? No. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I so, do. I mean, I love That's my why dad, South Carolina but... is also an okay option because that's where our friends are that we imagine we would hang out with a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean? You told me that you would absolutely uh, never move to South Carolina because of the falls. No, actually, I was just making falls. that up. Okay. But, yeah. And I just remembered Courtney. She do. She does have to stay in Fire Frederick for two years 30. because of oh. how she like redid her. So she pays mortgage. She pays more ultimately, but the interest rate has been decreased, mm. like two percent or something crazy like that. So okay. she has to stay where she is. For at least another two years or something and then technically it'd be easier for her to move or whatever sure which is fine so she i mean like she can move where we're going to if that's fine everyone to. is just i don't know i don't She's know but it doesn't matter away. yeah whatever her dad is potentially Florida. talking about moving somewhere else 
I mean, like, not actually, but, like, if it happened, like, he could potentially go somewhere. And same uh-huh. with her aunt would go. Her aunt was talking up the South, like, loved it. Like, oh, here. She said, don't go to Georgia. But she said, like, oh, here and here. And I need to get the towns and stuff she was referring to. But do, a, like, a nationwide tour. Where nationwide will we live? Nice. And then we'll just go around to different states and be like, would we live here? Yeah. Yay. Would we? No. Let's move to Hawaii mm. and eat some poi. Poi, 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 poi. We could move. I like the idea of um, Kentucky or West Virginia. Like the mountain, the rolling hills and mountain areas. No, West Virginia. Bleh. Why? Too many opioids. Oh. Nashville, Tennessee area. Tennessee would be fine. South Carolina would be fine. I don't know. Nashville, I hear, is popping off lately. They're like during the pandemic, a lot of people have moved there. Um. Well, I wouldn't move. Honestly, honestly, like even in Colorado, which I don't think it would be possible. I would love to live like in the country. Like, yeah. no neighbors or anything. And, and see, like, our idea in Colorado was, like, mountains, you know? We want to yeah. live in the mountains. But, like, country is fine, too. Yeah. Country is fun. I love country. Like, we could move to the country in Michigan. I don't really want to go to Michigan. But, you know what I mean? Like, we, yeah. there's country, lots of country there. I like that. That's true. And we could still white-tailed deer bow hunt in yeah. the country. Yeah. The mountains, I think, was just the appeal of... of- being if we had enough land then we could potentially hunt on our own yeah prop but yeah just country away from people away from things but close enough that's the thing close enough where if you had to commute to a job that was closer to a biggie 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 (laughs) can't you see bigger city commute to job is hard but also you know like further out enough that we are not surrounded by people yeah I actually uh, found out this week Ooh. that I have a coworker who lives near your mom. Oh. Very near. How about that? Are they in the same neighborhood just across the street or something? No, it's actually so it's uh, when you go through all the mountains and then you're like right at the crest of the hill before it starts to go down toward the cherry company. Yeah. It's at the very top of that hill on the left. It's called like JR's Lazy Ranch or something. Wait, it's like a big sign. So in their neighborhood there? Mm-mm. It's like before you, like right before the big steep hill going into Pinewood. Oh, so like pretty much yeah, like the, the hill. same neighborhood. Mm-mm. No, because they're down the hill. Like you go down the hill and then you take a left into your parents' neighborhood. Yeah, it's like the same neighborhood yeah. though. I guess. Yeah. So it's like Pinewood Springs. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. But Just I think of the same neighborhood hill. as like that area. Oh, and like no. Like you turn on the street and then it's like. Do you know what side of the road they're on? Are they on Same the... side. Oh, okay. So yeah, same neighborhood. But I Have you ever walked the, the streets over there though? Have you ever like gone up and down over there? It's all connected. No, it's like, like when you're driving, it's at the very top. Yeah. Where there's like a little pull off kind of, and there's the sign there or whatever. Yeah, but it's the same. It's this. You can get to that spot from the. It's pine like a wood. private ranch, though. No. Yeah, he no. explained it to me that it's forty acres of ranch that he inherited from his father. Oh. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Kill him. No. Take his land. He's a very big man. Okay, well, just shoot him from behind. No, it wouldn't work. He would find a way. To turn the bullet. That's cool, though. Good for them. Oh, I know. That sounds awesome. Land. What the hell? It'd be like perfect before you have to go down that steep hill, which doesn't matter too much. But in the winter, if you didn't have to think about. Tell your dad to get more land it. to inherit. <sighs> you are the golden child. But there's a lake house involved in my family lineage. You know? I guess, yeah. Well, you don't like that? 
whenever that house would be up for grabs in a sense it's okay. not going to go to you you're not going to inherit that house good so that must be the pull off to his okay stop it cool you're being ridiculous why wouldn't it go to me what's your argument here I just don't know I think that you're you just wouldn't what does that mean well it's like when famous people die and they don't really like say in their will like well this is gonna go to this person or like if they're like really rich and they have um like maybe their weird young gold digging girlfriend or whatever that they're like, oh, I'm going to leave it all to this lady. But everyone in the family is like, well, this has been around for the last like two years. You should evenly dis- disperse, you know, the what the wealth, the wealth, whatever is left. So then they like fight it, you know. So you think that like I'm going to end up fighting uh it could go any way i think like if i don't think you would care too much i don't think you would care too much but i i could see like the house getting left to you first you know whatever or even like aaron and or your brothers maybe getting upset about it maybe mm. and like you know we live in michigan so why wouldn't we inherit the house here like eli and kirsten have a house or whatever you know what i mean like yeah i could see that being a thing and you would let it go you'd be like whatever yeah go ahead and move into the house or something but like if you didn't want it you know and it was left in your name specifically i could see that being like a thing like That's well, what happens then you know what i mean yeah i i yeah i think i mean i think you're right i think it's probably more of like a it's gonna be a vacation it would be thing split anyone, up but then it might not even be, like it know? belongs to all three of you mm-hmm. that sort of thing yeah and then, like, who takes over? You know, like, who is going to actually live here? Are we going to live here together? Or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it could get messy. Yeah, it could get messy, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. Yeah, and also, I don't think that's something you think about regularly, is it? Inheriting uh, a beach house? No. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I mean, it would be an honor if I were able to be so privileged as take it. A house, D. We could use a lake house. We could. Just in general, you know. Only if it's the one from the lake house with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Oh, Samra Bullis. I know her. We went to high school together. Was there a Sandra Bullocks? No. I'm okay, kidding. well, there you go. Okay, well, I don't know how to do road view on google earth anymore lost my touch whatever can't show you that's okay i'll live with it don't worry i'll live don't worry i like your shirt thank you you can get the bat wing sleeves i shared this on my story that's nice what story is that my uh snapchat story oh snapchat stories that's cool no one looks at them except for bailey pretty much and kyle sometimes and candy who is the german shepherd lady from yes, work Courtney, Jordan. those are like the only people i have on here no one else uses it kyle posts Kendall. about like he posts about his mental breakdowns on facebook really pretty much only what kind of mental breakdowns? Like, I hate Let's everything, say, I want to die. The elusive and illustrious Kyle, who is Kirsten's brother, who you've heard his voice on these episodes in the past. Yeah, what is he saying? Pull it up and let me look at it. Well, I'm working on it Hurry there, up. babe. Okay, don't Hurry yell at me, up. please. It makes me move slower. I don't get to I scroll to through your friends about... list anymore. You could be cheating on me for all I know. Gross. You could easily hide your marriage status and no one would know because like they wouldn't know that I exist. Oh you could God. be sending messages to people. It was like that time that you were friends with the lady from the bank and I was like, why the hell do you have to be friends with the lady from the bank? That makes no sense. You just have bank interactions and like your friends on Facebook. Like that was super weird to me. I was very upset. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Why don't you care on his posts? 
because sometimes what am I supposed to do? He likes his own posts and that is a deterrent for me. I'm sorry. Like if I see somebody who likes their own post, it makes me not want to like it. Cause I'm like, you know what? You've got yourself covered. That's hilarious. Why wouldn't you like that? I don't understand it. That's hilarious to you. Of course I don't understand. F faceless Take people. Take times to do the things Water serpents. you wish you could do when you were a kid. What does that mean? Uh, pick your butt. This. Do a cartwheel while picking your butt. Land on your head. Have a whole bunch of puppies fist fight your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Four years ago today, your brother said, Eli, Peter, Garrett, get ready. Yeah. Boys, get ready. John Cena wakes up from coma. Cena, where am I? I see you. No, you don't. Classic. Nick Johnson is dead. Classic. Brian's my best friend. Classic. This is you on your bachelor party thing. Oh, that's why you're posting all of that. Okay. Sorry, I just clicked on the memories. I'm not like looking or snooping or anything. Well, you have a lot of memories. You posted a lot. Oh, this is funny. I remember seeing this picture um, on your Facebook and like cracking up. Like mm -hmm. this is no face for a baby's birthday party or mm -hmm. whatever you said. Oops. Yep. That was the first birthday party. That kid is like eight or nine now. That's wild. Workaholics has been the best show on television in 2012. Very accurate. I still watch it. Look, 40s and video games. Not much has changed. Whiny kid quote of the day. I'm allergic to 3D movies. <laughs> and then there's a urinal overflowing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was at the air zoo, I think. Wow, you were breaking the rules in 2011, sneaking into movies after paying for one. Well, they were going to play whether or not I sat down, so I don't see that as breaking the rules. The movie's on the screen. In 2008, you spent a fifth night at your friend Brian's house. Yep, that went on for a while. I was there for a long time. Let's get down to business. I think like nine, nine days or something. Why didn't you comment to defeat? Oh, someone else did. Never mind. Okay, sorry. I'm looking at Kyle's thing again. Oh, look, he updated his profile picture, and oh, it's us. But then he cropped us all. <laughs> Is it from the wedding? Is yeah. it that one? Yeah. Oh, cowboy. I got my cowboy this hat on. March. Everybody wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Everybody wears a cowboy hat and some cowboy boots. Except Eli. Yeah. He wears shoes. Just some good old dress shoes. I know cowboy boots on my feet cause I'm not a cowboy. Look at me, I got on some dress shoes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dress shoes, they work just fine for me. I didn't need no cowboy boots, just some good old dress shoes. For the wedding? For the wedding. I was just thinking about those cowboy boots. Cowboy boots and blue cowboy hat too. Cigars mm -hmm. and booze. Yeah. I got cowboy boots. I didn't like our wedding day. I want to redo. I don't like our wedding day, but it would be more fun if we did it over the day. It would be more fun if we did it now. Because we would probably do it somewhere exotic, like Kansas. Kansas. I'm ready for some goddamn poutine. Oh, Jesse sent a picture of his dad. Time to get wet. It's funny, they look exactly nice. the same. 
Wow. Let's get loud. He does not look Mexican. <laughs> it's got that Native American hair flow. Oh, he kind of looks Mexican. I don't think so. Definitely Filipino. I can see it. It could pass. Jebby no bimbi My mom said she's going to leave in a minute. I thought she was already on her way. I was so ready for poutine. Now poutine. I have to wait like another hour. Damn it, mom. Poutine. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm going to bring you a whole thing of poutine. You going to bring me the whole thing? Which po one? Are you going to do the poutine. half and half? I like you the half do and the half. Year, I like the half. Me too. I feel like I ended up eating more of the green chili one, Let's but it was only because I was facing that way. And I had, what did I have last night? I had the beans, but what else? Oh, I had a little salad. garlic knot thing. Yep, that's it. And then you had a salad. And I had sugary drinks. That's fine. Sugar drinks. I didn't work out today. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't work out hard. I was pretty hungover and I didn't like. You're only hungover because you wake up so early and probably. it's still in your system. I didn't sleep like enough. a lot. You're right. It was like four I hours. I thought I was <laughs> going to feel hours. hungover, but I was good. But I also woke up and took some Advil, but I took some right before bed too. Mm. Yeah, I didn't end up, I don't think I drank that much by volume, but it was enough. It, it did worked. the trick. Yeah. And I didn't, I mean, I guess I was awake for a long time from 4.30 to at least 12.30. Was it maybe later than that? Was it one o'clock when we uh yes it was around one o'clock probably maybe even later because yeah we were up a little bit later even when we got in bed so that's like a 21 hour day holy shoot Damn. 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 oh we've Damn. been doing this for 52 minutes Episode 93. What have we even been talking about? Why does it go We've by so fast? Um, hum, hum, uh, well, we've talked about uh, places we would like to see in Egypt. No, we've we didn't. We've talked about favorite I would go to Egypt. condiments for hot dogs. I like Egypt. Do you? I think it would be fun. I don't like desert, which is a lot of Egypt, but, lot. but I like the history behind Ooh. it, like the creepy pyramids and stuff. Creepy. And yeah. Yeah. I would go see it. There's it's a lot I of think, sand. Yeah. I think there's, okay, stop. I'm trying to talk. You interrupt me all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Hurry. What there about Egypt? There is the building. It's built into like a silo thing. Oh no, I'm stretching oh further God. than your camera was adjusted. Am I not supposed to interrupt now? Sorry, but anyways, I can't. I don't know what's called, but it looks cool. I think it's in Egypt. Also, I forgot what I was gonna say. Hmm. Maybe something about a puppy name based from Egypt. Based? Yes. Could be like a... Ooh. Paste? Like tomato paste? Niles. I forgot the what I lady was going to say. Niles. I'm going to call the dog Doggy. That's the end of it. No. Doggy. Hello, little Ashton doggy. Ashton Kutcher. Hello, little doggies. It'll be Bloppin's timber plates. I was talking to Jude yesterday while she was pooping next to a car in the grass in a spot that she's never pooped before. Mm. And I said, oh, little doggies, you are pooping on the ground or something like that. And then I realized that the car parked there, the windows were down and there was someone Somebody in the it. car. Oh, yeah. Like weird. Yeah. Should have left it. <laughs> I never do that. Be like, this person will pick it up for you. <laughs> yeah. This person likes poop. I didn't make eye contact. I just yeah, kind of glanced either, and saw like, someone was in there. I was like, oh, dang. Oops. I'm oh, dang. doing baby talk over some dog poop. 
It's hard not to do the baby talk, though. Yeah. I found it I'd... nearly impossible to avoid. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I just can't. It's always going to be baby talk for it's the just baby. It's going to be baby talk for the baby. Mm, baby, baby, baby. Mm, I want a baby, new baby, rug baby, in baby, here. Baby, 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 baby. What? I'm over it. So many rug changes. I know. We I'm not get actually one going soak to. Up piss. No, no. Dog piss. I genuinely am like in complete safe mode. I think the only frivolous oh. thing that I purchased was that bucket hat and it's going back. That bucket That's the hat only was thing. Strike. And that was what, like $30, $40, something like that. It's going back. That's the only thing I bought this month because wow. we came back from vacation. I have not gotten anything crazy. The only frivolous thing I would say that I have purchased is probably alcohol. Like I have not gotten anything crazy. Oh, I did get some makeup, but look at my face. Yeah, beautiful. I know Worth it is it. a little slimy though. I don't. This foundation's a little sticky, and I don't like that yeah. so much. But I mean, like, if I don't touch it, it's pretty. It's fantastic. Yeah. And that's good. I'm proud of you, B. Thank you. Way to yeah, save. I. The idea is that I'm gonna save this much. Two. Every, every month. Wow. Two because dollars. I will be able to. That's very good. Because I don't have any. Like I. There's not. Yeah. I'm not paying for anything crazy right now. Car insurance pretty much and rent. Save it up, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it was really just the uh, stuff for the pup and for the chum. Yeah. Things Save that it. I bought. Uh, lanyard. But it's fine. I don't know if that should count. Well, I got some more pimple patches because my face is in need of them. But those were like $8. Mm. So bojos that was probably my oh, frivolous yeah that was delicious though. that was so good but poutine i feel like is gonna be better mm -hmm. i'm so ready for it oh my god oh my god. God. i haven't eaten anything yet today Isn't and yesterday all i had was two morning. eggs half a cup of rice and then those bean things guess what i had to eat today nothing a little piece of bread with the prosciutto that's it that's all you've had yeah. like today you didn't have a smoothie or anything? Oh my god. No. Do you want me to cook you some eggs before we go? I I have some leftover rice. I could just cook up like what I did yesterday. That was delicious, wasn't it? It was delicious, but it's too much. Because no, the poutine will be back and that'll be good. Yeah, so you're going to fast? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I, I support so. it. I support it. Because I'm chunk. I'll probably take a couple of like, sneaky spoonfuls of peanut butter to the There you dough. go. Hold it over. Yeah. John wants her damn dinner. Oh my god, she does. She we can call does. it if you want. That call way I can... me. Call me. Call me. Call me. No, that's not. It's Mallory. Valerie. Valerie. Call me. Really? Call me. Valerie. You think so? Or you know so? Me. It's, I know so. The song is called Valerie by Steve Winwood. Oh, wow. Well. You turd. <sighs> I hate it. I'm done. I'm done. I hate it. Put the flowers on your head here. Flower head. You should have kept them on. I could have, but here Ow. we are. Oh, here we are again on my own. Going down the only road out of a new horn. Like a drift, I was born. I have not had like any water today. I need to drink some water. Wow, look yeah. at you, so pretty. Hey, Shwabba Baba Baba Booba. Hey, Shwabby Babi Booby. What do you got to tell me? Hey, Chubby Chubby Chubby. What are you going to tell everyone with your ass? What are you going to use your ass to tell everyone for? Oh my god, say all the words you want with your mouth now. Cuckoo! Oh. I'm Just thinking. Like, what? what the fuck what is that? What Aww. With perfect clarity. Good job, chubby chubby. She did it. She knows it's dinner time. She's so precious. Look at her little precious eyeballs. I How know. are you so cute? You're precious. You I gotta put the so dwarfs in them in like two hours. Things. Yesterday from Chuck and Downs. So many. They finally restocked. They sell oh. out of those so fast these days. Oh my god. Two bags of calcium, Two please. bags at a deposit. I even got a, a smaller one from Whole Foods, too. She's got some white chomp on her lip. Oh, come here, you baby. Come here. Come here. Come to mama. 
Oh my gosh. I smell like that other little dog. Is. She smells betrayal. Garden smell party like betrayal. The There's a belly button in here. I know it. Okay, okay. Okay, Chan. Okay, Lay it out. 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 Lay it Karate Chop next weekend for episode 94. <laughs> Maybe we would do another Jebby Babelies or something. I like I like those. I like these. These are super easy to edit after you do one of those. Anyway, people on one wheel, people on scooters, people riding by outside real fast with imbalances. <laughs> Okay, episode 93, taking the credit, thank you all.